Hey guys, what's up now? This is going to be the final combo for tonight. Um, so this is going to be an actual hand combo. Now this hand, this is standard. This is not that standard because you only have one copy per deck. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Things will never be the same. Um, so let's just go in. I don't want to waste anyone's time. You need these cards to do this combo. But they are searchable anyways. Um, so the first one we're going to activate Servon. If you suspect Ash, use Master first. If you don't suspect Ash, use your Shrine. You're going to send the normal monster first for obvious reasons. And because I sent a normal monster, I get to send an extra monster to the graveyard. You're going to summon back your Dark Worm, use its effect to add gate zero. So you're guaranteed your absolute play right away. No, I just activate a spell card, so that's one counter. You're going to use Master right away and get your Big Daddy and Demion just for scale. So that's three counters because that was a spell and Master auto gives it a counter. So we're going to use Servant's Effect, Summon itself, and Jackal King. Both of them get a counter for that. You get a counter. You get a counter. You don't get a counter. Anyways, now it's time to activate your Sky Iris. That's two more counters on Jackal King. The combo is Nibiru proof, just in case if you're wondering. You're going to use Sky Iris, pop Servant, and add Mirage. Since Servant got destroyed in the monsters when I get to scale it, my apologies. Now, you can summon your Mirage and link someone into your Romulus. You'll get your Romulus effect to add Ravine. You will use it. Just not yet. And then we would, well, we normally would have an extra card in our hand. It's going to matter. So I don't want you to think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to activate Endymion. And that's five counters. You can summon him right now if you really want to, but I would never recommend it on any given day. Then from here, it's time to pendulum someone. Since we have the two dragons ready up. And our gate zero is full combo. So we're obviously going to going to Pistion and LP first. I'm glad they got a rarity bump. I'm going to order them. Not that I didn't do an order, but the cards hasn't reached. There is something about America where the cards you ship just, just don't come to us here in Jamaica. I don't know what's up with that. It's not on every website, but I can't get my stuff. The majority of the stuff I just borrow them and just to do the combos. So I'm grateful for everyone who lent me cards. Sweetland, Ronnie, bless up. Now from here we're going to use Pisty first. As we already set up the play by putting this card in grave. Now we're going to exceed someone into our absolute dragon. We'll use LP's effect. And we're going to summon our rocket tracer. Tracer is a beast. I don't think I need to explain it anymore. We can, yeah, link up with these two. It doesn't matter which one we do first. Um, into our, my apologies. which one we're going to first? Yep, Dillingress. Then Absolute and or Romulus into Spheres. Because Spheres is auto two interruptions. Just auto. No, because I did that, I get to summon Vortex. I'll summon it here in defense. And here is where the interesting part comes in play. You can Rocket Tracer first. Well, no, let's do the safer play. We're going to just send Sky Iris, activate Ravine. You would have one more card in hand normally, but I didn't take out extra card. You just didn't need it for the combo. So you're going to send the card. What you're going to send is your... Galaxy Spiral Dragon. We're going to summon it back right away. And we're just going to link. So we're going into Rusty! My god! Now, Rusty's effect. We're going to send boots in this scenario. And obviously, we're going to banish boots, so that's going to end up with double fog blade. Just like that. Just two in case we're doing almost nothing. Um. From here now, we'll use Tracer's effect, Pop Rusty, and Summon Note or Silver Rocket. 
we'll synchro someone into Savage. Savage effect. We can equip back Rusty to get the three counters, but it really doesn't matter. Um, just in case, always keep Rusty in the graveyard, just in case. So you can always Fog Blade, Banish and summon it back to the field. And obviously you get some counters too. And um, the coup de gras is that we're going to remove six counters to summon Big Daddy and Dimion. And Dimion is going to pop this, guaranteed, because I'm you have no cards left in your hand. You don't want to keep this because you're not going to discard whatever you drew. And then what you can do if you really want um Dragoons is 3,000 attack, so it's best advice that you don't pop the Romulus because this can get over Dragoons naturally. So you're just going to keep the one counter. Under normal circumstances, I'll pop something else just so that I can maximize on counters. But this is enough. The reason why you do it this way, I don't want the counters on Jackal King. Like, example, if your opponent in permanence, you're losing all the counters. So it doesn't force you in a situation where you are forced to negate so you keep the counters on Servant, which is more safe. Because they won't find that much backfield removal when you're going first. They'll most likely have them when you're going second. And this combo is just a beast overall. This is 8 negates, 8 interruptions. If you want me to count them off, I will. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 effect. Going to between a Banish, Negator, Extra Deck Monster... Or you can even just lock them out again with a Goliath or anything you'd like. So that's 8 interruptions. Alright guys, that's it for the combo. I'm going to show you guys the deck profile soon. I just really want all the cards that I ordered to reach. That's all I really want. Alright, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe and I'm out. Peace.